the AO Foundation is a non-profit medical organization led by an international group of surgeons specialized in the treatment of trauma and disorders of the musculoskeletal system. Founded in 1958 by 13 visionary surgeons, the AO Today fosters one of the most extensive networks in the world, with more than 10,000 surgeons, operating room personnel, and scientists from over 100 countries. The AO Foundation to me is a, a unique value proposition. It's one of the few organizations that embraces um, a kind of uh, bench to bedside mission. One of the great strengths of the AO Foundation is it has a significant amount of funding that is available for the research mission of various specialties, including AO Trauma, AO Spine, AO CMF, and AO Vet. The AO Foundation funds more fundamental research through the AO Exploratory Research Board the AO Research Institute and through the AO Startup Grant Program. With our growth in knowledge is the capacity to care better for ourselves and care better for, uh, for the world we live in. Central to the ongoing research programs at the AO Foundation is the AO Research Review Commission, a volunteer peer review board comprising of leading orthopedic surgeons and scientists from around the world. The AO Research and Review Commission, I believe, was an exceptional creation by the AO Foundation. It really provided an independent external review process for the mission of AO Foundation with regard to its research that will be important for the future of orthopedics around the world. Since its inception in January 2011, the AO Research and Review Commission has reviewed over 450 grant applications and advised the appropriate funding bodies to invest in over 150 research programs. We give of our time into reviewing these grants in order to provide scientists with an external review that's independent of the funding bodies. The review is done at a very high level and done from a number of experts from around the world using an external review process. Morning. Hi, morning, how are you? Great, how are you doing? Hey. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. This video highlights the peer review process used by the AO Foundation and will take you inside an AO Research Review Commission meeting as it discusses grant proposals submitted for review. Our next grant application is S-11-97B. The AO Research Review Commission is responsible for the review process of all grant applications submitted to the AO Foundation and its various research funding bodies. And I want to point out that this is a young investigator. Yes. So the, the proposal aims at... The AO peer review process is actually a partnership between members who are uh, outside the AO but committed by virtue of their expertise and their own research interests to helping the internal AO RRC members in the total review process. The application process for the AO research grant program can be broken down into five simple steps. When a principal investigator decides that they want to submit a grant proposal to the AO Foundation, they access the application through the AO Foundation website. They then fill out the application, making sure it conforms to the guidelines. All the information as far as the structure of the grant is available. How much funding is available per year, what types of grants. Format, content, and uh, other requirements. Once the grants are submitted through the website, they're validated at the AO Research Commission office. To make sure that those grants conform to the deadlines and guidelines for that particular grant program. For example, the page length of the grant application is appropriate and that they conform to the funding limits of that particular call. Following validation of the grant proposal by the AO office, those grants are then assigned to a group of external re reviewers from around the world. The AO Research and Review Commission has over 450 independent external reviewers that cover the broad array of research interests of the AO Foundation. The AO Research and Review Commission then meets in person to judge those grants and determine whether they're above the line and are fundable. The, the proposal aims at engineering cartilage tissues based on the embedding of mixed populations of articular chondrocytes and mesenchymal stromal cells within microgels. The AO Research and Review Commission meets three times a year to discuss all grants that have been submitted in the previous cycle. So those grants are assigned to typically four external reviewers in addition to a composite reviewer who's on the AO Research and Review Commission. 
The project is based on a very original concept. The research plan, however, is uh, overly ambitious, in my opinion, for a two-year program. Uh, in addition, we assign a second member of the committee to act as a second pair of eyes or a discussant. I've asked uh, Lisa to be the discussion partner. I share the same concerns that you have and the reviewers. I do think it is over ambitious um, for a two-year proposal. This is typically a grueling event where within the course of 36 hours we review thousands of pages of uh, paper. We debate the merits and the benefits, the disadvantages of each proposal. I'm very concerned about the use of juvenile rabbit chondrocytes. If they're juvenile, they're probably not going to have upregulated MMP13 and IL-1 beta. I think that this new technology can be applied for the annual tear repair in the degenerative spinal diseases causing low back pain, and that might be a very interesting and a clinical importance. We have challenges in uh, xenograft approval uh, that can play an important role in whether there is a clinical endpoint for, for this line of research. We debate their relevance to each of the funding bodies' uh, mission interests with regard to their research in the AO Foundation, and we must then render a decision very quickly in terms of getting through all of these proposals and deciding which ones merit a further consideration within the AO Foundation. So it's financially competitive, it's original, I would approve the project. The composite reviewer at that meeting presents the grant and gives an initial impression of what the score for that grant should be, ranging from one to five with any score of three or higher being fundable. And I would propose to rate this as a 4.1. Lisa, any other I agree thoughts? with that. I'd probably also include the more clinically applicable chondrocyte source. That it, I would include in my measures for improvement, yes. I just had one more question for David before we go to the next one. Clearly identify that particle size... Is the discussion partner then gives his or her viewpoint of that grant, confirms or suggests that the score should be higher or lower, there then is a broader discussion in the commission, and we then come up with a composite score and a composite review for that grant. But it sounds like you have the confidence that they know how to do this and it doesn't dampen the enthusiasm. There's no perfect proposal, correct? And this has some risks, but I'm very high on, on uh, advocating this one. I like the score that you gave it. So the score is 4.1? 4.1. Okay, thank you. That concludes our last grant, 87 grants. Very good job. Now we move on to uh, ranking the grants. At the end of the day, we then take all grants that are above three and fundable, and we vote on a head-to-head -head comparison on whether a grant should rise higher within that ranking or lower. Uh, the grant that's immediately above that grant is the grant that David presented earlier, the Strunchen grant. Yeah, so this came from a very talented, more senior group from the United Kingdom, and they proposed a Strunchen-based subchondral bone implant for chondrogenesis. Uh, the strength. In the conclusion of each section, we subsequently developed a ranking of them in order based upon our direct comparison of one project to the next. So all those that believe that the SIRNA grant should rise above the Strunchen grant, please raise your hand. All right, it's unanimous, so it rises up one. The next grant above the SIRNA grant is the grant that Manabu presented earlier on the- And our criteria are, of course, the scientific validity of the proposal, but also the uh, transferability and applicability into clinical practice. How clinically applicable do you think this technology would be? It's maybe it will take a long time, but I think this is the first step. What I believe is important is that we leave our mark and, and leave the world a better place. And I can think of no better way than improving human knowledge. After our review, all grants that are fundable and above the line are submitted back to those funding bodies and they make the final determination of which grants are funded and which grants are not. The peer review of the AO Foundation's research is rigorous, fair, unbiased, objective and designed to enhance the quality, outcomes and impacts of all research funded by the AO Foundation. I feel I'm sure like many other of uh, the reviewers, members of the AORRC uh, and the investigators themselves, uh, we're in healthcare because we want to make the world better.